Hey Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. Hope everyone's doing well. So I'm getting ready to change locations again. Um, so I'm gonna try to get a reading out tomorrow morning before I go. But if not, bear with me. It's a long travel day for me. Um, and I'll connect on Sunday if you don't hear from me. All right, I think that may be it. Well, no. And I feel like Pisces, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to read the cards in several different ways if I'm called to, just because, you know, there's that higher level, which I like to read from, which talks about, you know, what's going on in that higher version of ourselves, like the, the reason why we're here on planet Earth what lessons we're to learn. However, you know, there's real life too. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm going to do my best to pull out the mundane, like the everyday things as well. So we'll see how it goes. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping to, to help in more than one way because we all have to live in the real world, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. Okay. That is also followed by ooh, the eight of pentacles. And then underneath the eight of pentacles is the eight of swords. And then underneath the Eight of Swords is the world. And then underneath that, wow, Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Death. The High Priestess. Okay, Pisces, so. Hmm. The Five of Pentacles is a hard card because that's. That's when you're really struggling. When someone's health is struggling, that is the the hardest thing in the world whether it's physical health mental health emotional health health it's difficult because there's that saying if you haven't got your health you haven't got anything when you are teetering on that level Everything else doesn't matter. You can be the most successful, powerful, beautiful, handsome, wealthy person in the world, and that doesn't matter. Because if you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I often think about anyone famous who's, you know, died from something, let's say cancer. Even with all that wealth, all that fame, all that access to the best of the best, death still comes. So Pisces, I feel like, you know,
I feel like you're putting in a lot of effort to get out of that, to really focus on your own physicality, your own health, your own wholeness, your own holistic nature, that wanting to be in balance in all ways. And, you know, like I say, the messages may not be for you, but it could happen to someone around you, someone that you know. So it could be that there is someone who might be suffering in silence around you and is needing some version of assistance. They're wanting to get out of this of this situation where, you know, maybe they don't see there's a way out. But in this deck, in this card, there's this little hummingbird here. And to me, hummingbirds, any small animal, big animals too, but especially the small ones, because the small ones you can miss if you're not paying attention. Those are those signs those are following those little breadcrumbs. Because I feel like, Pisces, you or someone you love could be so focused on what is going wrong that you forget about everything else around you that is so beautiful. I, let me tell you, I have issues with this. We all do. We'll always, you know, we're like, ah, oh, gosh, I wish this was working and this is all messed up. And you put, you're putting all your energy into something. And you forget that it is a blue sky. That you can hear the birds. You can see beauty. You can feel the sun on your skin. It's living in that eternal now, that eternal spring in our heart. And when you go through difficult things, it's hard to break out of that. But look for those signs. And if this is happening around you to someone that you care about, You know, maybe, maybe. Maybe put a little hummingbird feeder outside their window where their bed is so that they can see, see the hummingbird, see the blue sky. Maybe it's putting a really pretty picture, you know, on the ceiling above their bed. Or some flowers that they like. You know, to help, help them remember Help them remember what it's like to live. Because sometimes people forget and they forget to fight for what's worth it. 
they get so bogged down in what's not happening or how how bad they're feeling physically I'm sorry It's those little things that we forget about when other people are are begging for those little memories. You know, a lot of times it's about learning how to put our differences aside in those last moments. Because it's all that little petty crap that gets in the way of a real life. You know, know, as people transition to a different phase, sometimes it's slow, Sometimes it's fast. I feel like, you know, sometimes they hang on. And it's hanging on for us because they know when they're gone, there's a big void. And sometimes all we have to tell them is it's okay. You can go. We'll miss you, but we'll know you're you're around us. We'll look for you every time we see a hummingbird or blow on a dandelion flower. Do all those little sweet things. That's when we know you're there. And when that happens, that's, it makes it easier. Because when we're in that phase, when we know it might be the end, or that it is the end, there's that part of us that wants to go to that other place, other dimension. And it pulls you really strong. So there's this in-between phase where you want to go, but you also don't want to. And we try to hold on. And they try to hold on. But it's letting letting them know it's okay. It's it's having those conversations, you know, even if they don't seem like they can hear you. They can. of swords and death we all will face it one day it's hard but at the same time it's not and I feel like in that moment you know that's where that that true living is that true clarity that ascension it's like
it's like you you see it all you learn so much and it's about letting go not trying to control anything or anyone because you realize you can't and it's so much easier if you just let go and then you float and you think you can think about death in so many ways it's not just our physical body it's every aspect of our life. Anytime something changes, that means something else is coming. Like every time a little thing ends, that's a small little death. But then what happens with that energy is it's reborn into something else. You know, it's that, that couple that finds out they're expecting their first child. It's that. The fool. So the Pisces, I don't know what, what it is, but there's something new because something else has, has gone away. Six of Wands. After a really hard fight, you're able to rise up and feel like, okay, I got through that. I survived. I'm, I'm ready for something new. You know, it's, it's ready to go down a new path. Lots of sixes here. Six of pentacles, six of swords, six of wands. Also eights and fives. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So fives we know are about change. Sixes are about harmony and balance. Eights. Look that up. Because right now I'm seeing the infinity symbol. <laughs> but I know it's higher than that. And we have eight of pentacles, eight of swords, eight of wands. So three sets of eights. And then we also have three sets of sixes. The Hierophant. This is something that is a commitment. It's going to take your full heart, your full trust, your full energy. And it's when you pour your heart and soul into something new, something else, it makes you feel alive again, even after suffering, hurting. Put all that feeling, all of that emotion into something new and watch how that something new grows and flourishes. Judgment. It is making that decision. The chariot. To move forward. To accept the reality that you are living in. And making the best of it. Page of wands. Page of swords. You know, this is really young energy. Pages are usually children, if we talk about every day. So air sign, fire sign. Musically inclined, creative, dance. The 
the Seven of Wands and the Magician. So the Seven of Wands is defending your position, defending your children, 2022. Okay, that's the year we're in. Um, you know, this is a fox and a badger. And then we have the Magician. It's almost like after, after a death, maybe, maybe it was your spouse. It's having to move forward for your children and yet honoring the life that you had with your partner. Honoring your life rising up creating with the magician the magician is the ultimate creator the magician is the alchemist the alchemist can turn lead into gold and gold is something prized. It reminds us of the sun, it reminds us of life. So it's like creating a new life from sadness, you know, but it's, it's getting up. It's getting up and functioning for everyone around you, even if you may be sad. You know, because if you are responsible for your children's lives, they don't want to see you in despair. You know, it's, it's okay to go into another commitment. You know, still celebrate the life of who was lost. You know, that's still their parent but it's okay to be happy. It's okay to continue in your life. You don't have to feel like you have to go it alone, that you have to be defensive of your children and keep everyone out. You don't have to do that. But when you're ready, when you're ready, yeah. All right, Pisces. Wow, this was a very touching message. And Three of Pentacles here, it, it's something that takes time to heal. But they're always around us, even if we can't see them. Look for the signs. All right, Pisces, I love you very much. I'll see you soon.